Okay, so we thought it would be fun to have a 7 Secrets of IBM SPSS modeler video. Now, if you're extremely familiar with the software, or if you've been on the formal training, you may not regard these as secrets per se, but certainly if you've ever downloaded to evaluate the software, or if you're self-taught, there's probably a whole bunch of functions and cool features in there that you're not familiar with, and we thought it would be a good idea to draw attention to them. The first one we're going to look at today is uh, the data audit node, which we're billing as the Swiss Army knife of data cleaning. So let's have a look at it. So the data audit node is this little square node, which as the name implies, audits the data. It gives us an overview of the data. When we run that downstream of a source node, it gives us an overview of the data, both in terms of little charts that it produces, little graphics, and also in terms of the minimum, maximum, and some summary statistics here. It also tells us the number of valid cases there are. So it's taking out any null, uh, null values there. And it also gives a little report on unique uh, categories within the categorical field. So the categorical fields here are two categories. These are flag fields. And this is actually quite useful for when you've got a lot of data and you've read it in from a database, for example. You often get, believe it or not, data where you only have one value in a lot of the fields and you really want to get rid of those so sorting them in order and just getting rid of them is an easy thing to do from here and um, people don't know that uh, it isn't just that uh, categorical or that the dichotomous flag fields like this can be used to color the charts if i change the, uh, the target here to a continuous field i make that target field then it changes immediately takes account of that and it turns them all into scatter plots. So it's showing every field in relation to this key target field here, which is which is uh, uh, shown a third one down. Okay, if we go back there and just swap, swap that back to uh, response, let's point out a couple of extra little functions and features here that people don't know about. In the background, we've got a little tab here called quality. If we look in quality here, it gives us a sort of quality report and the number of things we can do to deal with uh, unusual cases or non-legitimate cases. So here we have, for example, a report indicating outliers and extremes. These are settings that you can you can overrule. Uh, so you can create your own outlier and extreme thresholds within the uh, data audit node. But more importantly, there are actions that you can take against them. So I can go to action here and say, well, let's get rid of uh, outliers and extremes. So I can coerce them. That means it forces them into a legitimate value. I can discard those records so I can get rid of them, I can nullify them, I can treat them separately so I can force outliers to be legitimate but discard extremes or force outliers to be legitimate and nullify extremes. If I just went for discard here I could click on that and say okay go and generate for that particular field there and say outlier extreme just selected fields only and click OK and it will go and create a little uh, super node for me and everything downstream of that that means that all of those records that had outliers or extremes in that particular uh, that particular field will be will be discarded so they'll actually be fewer records let's check that so that's 5494 versus the original record count of let's have a little look here of 5837 so you can see that's happening effect what else can we do here well there's other things with regard to missing data so you can hear, you can see here, missing data. We've got a little report here on missing data. It's telling us how, what percentage were complete, how many valid records there are, what type of missing data we have here. All the missing data is in the form of null values. It could be blanks within strings, or it could be user uh, missing values, special codes that you've given uh, 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 the, the system to indicate that data is missing. But again, here within. Within the missing uh, columns here, we have impute missing. So I could take, let's say, here we've got some missing data here in this one here, and I could say, well, impute missing, I could say, for, for just blank values, do something, or null values, do something, or blank and null values, do something. So I say, blank or null values, I want to you know, specify a value. So I can say, okay, I want to put uh, enforce in the mid-range, or put in the mean, or put in a constant value, and say I want a constant value of 45, so there's different methods I can use, or I can say for blank null values, I want to just choose a random value, or I can go into an expression here and say I want to set up an expression and say, you know, if they're female aged over 35, then the value should be X, and if they're male 
h over 35, the value should be y, etc., etc. Or I can even use an algorithm, which uh, in this case is CNRT tree, which will attempt to actually predict the uh, the, the mean va the value uh, of the missing uh, uh, the missing uh, the missing data there. So that's that's quite powerful, and people don't really know about that. So there's other things you can do with missing. We can say put in conditions here. We can come up with conditions and when the algorithm is fired. There's tons of different procedures here, and again, all of that is used through the generate menu if you wanted to create uh, a, a little node which will impute the missing values, and that's the next thing we're going to look at.